Sime Dhabi posted its highest ever reported quarterly net earnings today. First quarter net profit rose two and a half times due to higher contribution from its plantation and property divisions. Earnings stood at 1.3 billion ringgit from 522 million a year earlier. Revenue rose 17.5% to 8.1 billion. A quick look at how the two divisions did. Earnings at plantations jumped by over 500% to 1 billion ringgit, while revenue was up 25.6% to 3.5 billion ringgit. The property segment meanwhile saw an increase of 183% in net profit to 422 million. Revenue rose 4.4% to 464 million. Group Chief Mohammed Bakke Saleh says the plantation division did well thanks to higher fresh food bunch production supported by higher CPO prices, while recognition of share of profits from the Battersea Development Project enhanced the property division's performance. The group will list the two arms at the end of this month. Grant Hoover says its major shareholder has been approached by parties interested to acquire a stake in a company. The sanitary ware maker received an unusual market activity query from Busan Malaysia today. The counter was Busan Malaysia's fourth largest gainer earlier, with its shares hitting limit up after rising as much as 30 cent to 92 cent. It explained today that its major shareholder and certain directors have been approached by a few parties interested in acquiring a substantial stake in the firm. These unnamed parties are also said to be looking to explore a possible joint venture with the company on certain business opportunities. However, Grant Hoover says these discussions are still preliminary at this juncture. The upward trend in its share price had actually started in the beginning of the week. The counter closed at 42 cents on Monday before rising to 62 cents yesterday. Trading of its shares have now been suspended. Specialist piling firm Econ Pire Holdings has secured its first LRT contract. It will undertake board piling and infrastructure works for the LRT Bandar Utama Klang Line worth 208.7 million ringgit. It received the letter of award for the job from Gabongan Acres' construction unit yesterday. Econ Pire Executive Director and Group CEO Raymond Pang says the award further solidifies its place as one of the leading piling players in Malaysia. With this new contract, EconPile's current order book stands at 1.2 billion ringgit, which is estimated to be recognised over the next two to three years. Police have identified the culprits behind a massive data breach involving over 46 million cellular service accounts in Malaysia. According to local news portals, Inspector General of Police Mohammad Fuzi Harun says the leak of data occurred during a particular company's data transfer process. It is believed that some employees had taken advantage of the situation and gained the information. However, Fuzi rolls out the possible involvement of syndicates or the company itself. He says Bukit Aman's commercial CID is working with service providers to solve the matter. Wittrox Corp's third quarter net profit was up 41.2% thanks to higher revenue from two business divisions. Earnings came in at 22.41 million ringgit compared with 15.87 million a year earlier. Its revenue stood at 84.36 million ringgit, an increase of 46.3% from last year's 57.65 million, driven by its automated board inspection and machine vision system divisions. Wittrox declared a tax free interim dividend of 1.5 cent per share. Going forward, Wittrox says it will continue to focus on market expansion activities, customer relationship building and product innovation. It has also taken steps to minimise its net monetary assets in order to mitigate the financial impact arising from currency fluctuation. <laughs>